Arizona is recognized, Mr. Diggs. Uh, move to strike the last word. Gentlemen's gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So, um, having attended the deposition of Devin Archer, and there were only three members of Congress in that deposition. The chairman, Mr. Jordan, myself, Mr. Goldman from the Democrat side. And what I find interesting is that this amendment is moving to strike all of, the, all of this very important information which demonstrates a con criminal conspiracy on the part of the president. So, so I ask questions. Mr. Jordan did. Mr. Goldman did. And of course, who was the brand that Devin Archer, Hunter Biden, and his Rob Walker, what their, that partnership, who, what was the brand they were selling? It was Joe Biden. He admitted it. Well, could it be anybody else in the Biden family? No, we were selling Joe Biden. We were. That's what we were doing. So you begin talking, there's money that goes on, you see Joe Biden is involved in the business, he's making phone calls, he's making appearances, money is coming in and exchanging hands. Shortly after phone calls, shortly after Joe, Joe Biden goes to a restaurant to meet with the, the, uh, the wife of the former mayor of Moscow, a, a, one of the biggest oligarchs in Russia, three and a half million dollars right into the, the Biden coffers. They're receiving literally millions of dollars, all linked to this. So we say, well, well, my friends across the aisle say, well, there's no evidence here. There's nothing here to be seen. Um, but Devin Archer was testifying to that. There are other witnesses that I don't think you've paid attention to who've also said Joe Biden was the brand. He was the product they were selling. Yeah, so you got that on one side. So the so question is, can that be corroborated? And then you get a 1023. By the way, the FBI should give us the underlying 1023, yep. which explains why they went ahead with this 1023. Now, the, speak, uh, the chairman, yeah, there was another 1023, which Nobody's is- Nobody's told me that, yeah. Yes, there was. <laughs> and it's why they, they went ahead with this interview. So uh, I, great minds think alike, I guess, I actually underlined the same provisions that uh, the chairman did. The former president or prime minister of Poland and Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden, Wojcicki said Bur Burisma hired the former president or prime minister of Poland. So, so you get the prime minister of Poland hired to leverage what? The EU folks. But what was Hunter hired for? To quote, protect us through his dad from all kinds of problems, close quote. Now I won't go through the rest of this, but because it also corroborates what Devin Archer was talking about. Hunter Biden's dad was the product, and what was he expected to do? He was expected to do things like was explained in here by a reliable source, to take care of Victor Shulkin. So what else did Devin Archer talk about? He's in Dubai with Hunter Biden. They're at that, that sailboat typey uh, hotel. They're there, and they're with the, the president and CEO of, of, of Burisma, as well as the treasurer of, CEO, uh, of Burisma. And what are they talking about? Oh, my gosh, we're having trouble getting our IPO out because Victor Shulkin, the AG in Ukraine, uh, in, uh, Ukraine is uh, basically going after them. Devin Archer says they excuse themselves, and Hunter goes and calls his dad because that's what the CEO of Burisma said, please do, we need help from your dad. We have a recess, they come back, uh, well, you know, maybe it was just to DC. What confirms that? The 1023, don't say there's no corroborating evidence implicating Joe Biden. It's all in this 1023 and Devin Archer's testimony, and then you start using all the other documentation to show very clearly a criminal conspiracy of bribery and selling access on the part of the Biden family. I yield to the gentleman from North Carolina. I thank the gentleman from Arizona. And I, I'm struck, and maybe I'm 